Hello and welcome to Someka PTO Tracker for Google Sheets. To use the template, make sure you are online and sign in with your Google account. Then you have to make a copy of this file. Just go to File, then click on Make a Copy. This tool helps you to track the absent days of your employees. And there are seven sections in total. The Menu section, Employee List, Annual Entitlement List, Leave Registration, Team Tracker, Employee Tracker, and Calendar. So let's start with the menu first. Menu section also contains the settings. In Settings, you can define holidays at your company's departments and indicate the workdays. If you don't work on a particular day, then you can select No. And this section will define your leave types, and you may change the types according to your needs. And if you want to carry unused leave days to the next year, then you can select Yes. And you can choose the starting year from the drop-down list here. After you are done with the settings, you can continue with the employee list. This is where you enter all your employees. Enter the employee name and choose the department from the drop-down list. So let's add a new employee. And choose the department. And you can optional add notes to each employee. Once you list all your employees, you can input your annual entitlements. In this section, year, employee name and department will appear automatically. All you have to do is to define the annual entitlements in days. For instance, our new employee has 20 days in vacation and 5 sick days. Once the starting year is completed, just click on the next year to input the entitlements of that year. Since we chose the starting year as 2022, it starts from 2022. Let's continue with the next section. Leave Registration. This is where you will register the leaves for each employee. Just choose the employee and leave type from the drop-down list and indicate the first day of the leave and write the total duration in days. And the next working day will appear automatically. If the employee compensates the leave days with extra working, you can choose yes. If you choose yes, it means the leave is not deducted from the annual entitlement. Now it's time to track the employee leaves with dynamic output, starting with Team Tracker. This table shows all the absences of your whole team. Select the year and month from the drop-down menus to change the dates. All leave types are color-coded and you can find the color legend for each leave types here. And now working days are indicated in gray. If you change the working days of the week, this table will update itself automatically. Like this. You can also open the next month table by clicking the plus button located on the top right corner. Let's continue with the second output section. Employee Tracker. This section will give a general overview of a particular employee. Just choose the year and employee from the drop-down menus here. And the yearly calendar will show you the absent days based on the color legend above. The employee leave card will give you the number of days of an employee's entitlement, carry it over days from the previous year, and used and remaining days for the rest of the year. You can also track the monthly absence of the chosen employee with monthly absence breakdown, and you can filter the leave type from the drop-down list. And let's continue with our last output section, the absence calendar. This is where you can track the absent days of your employees in a calendar form. And you can choose the year and month from the drop-down list. And you can filter your data by department and leave type.
And if you don't want to view non-working days, you can choose now. You can also change the way you see the absent employee. You can view by name and leave type, by name only, or you can choose the view by their name and their departments. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check our other templates at someka.net.